right, you are recording. Okay, um, we've been given a revised script for the beginning of meetings, which comes as welcome news. So here we go. Good morning for the record. I'm Chris Young, chair of the HDC Sign Advisory Committee. Let's confirm access. Members, please say aye when I call your name. Paul Wolf. I'll just ask him to unmute. Paul, you're on mute. Uh, we'll, we'll try Mark Catone. Here. Okay. Okay, he's on mute. Paul, on mute now. Okay. Paul Wolf. Paul, can you hear us? Okay. Hello. Uh, hi, we're just uh, taking attendance of the staff member or the uh, the board members, waiting for Paul Wolf to acknowledge. Paul, can you hear us? Um, Paul. Unfortunately, we need his presence for a quorum here. Yeah. He said he was having problems with his video. I was too, and this is Tina. Okay, Tina. Hey, Tina. Hey. Uh, well, let's see. Paul, if you can hear us, could you call one of us perhaps just so we can acknowledge you're on board. Hmm. We just need one more for a quorum if we can't get Paul. Yeah. see. I'm going to try giving him a call. Okay. He can call in instead of logging in also. But he just can't see the plans. Okay. Let's see. Oh, he's What is that noise? <laughs> okay, are you able to hear us? I can hear you fine. Okay, so he, he can hear us fine. I'll put you on speaker. Okay. All right. Okay. We're multimedia <laughs> here. So, Paul, I'm going to call your name. You want to say I'm present? So, Paul Wolf? Yeah, present. All right. Great. Uh, staff, Kathy Flynn. Present. Great. All right. So this open meeting of the SAC is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020. That order posted with agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to convene remotely so long as public access to deliberations is reasonably provided. Uh, this meeting is convening via Zoom with video and audio recording and we're being broadcast via YouTube on the town's YouTube channel. If a member of the public is asked, has asked to speak, it can contain public comment. That's regarding to people, not applicants, just general comments. Yes. Materials provided to members for the meeting or provided during the meeting are, uh, this isn't, are otherwise, or otherwise noted are available on the town's website. During the meeting, I'll introduce agenda topics and speakers. Please remember to mute your Zoom audio until your name's called. Let's direct comments and questions through the chair to avoid crosstalk and make taking minutes easier. Votes will be conducted by the roll call. Okay, with that said, we'll move on to the meeting. Calling um, the meeting excuse me, Mr. Chair. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm Ben and Norman arrived in a few minutes ago. Uh, great, Ben, you're present. Um, present. Thank you. So, <laughs> Calling the meeting to order at 9.04 a.m. on Tuesday, January 26, 2021. 
Uh, do we have a motion to approve our agenda? A motion that. Would somebody like to make a motion to approve the agenda? I motion that. Thank you, everybody's. Second. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. All right, so we'll take a roll call vote. Ben, are you in favor? I'm in favor. Ben, you're in favor? I'm in favor. Mark? Aye. You're in favor? Okay. All right, and Paul, are you able to commit? Are you on? Okay, regardless, I'll vote. So that's a that motion carries. Thank you. And uh, do we have any minutes to approve? Yes, January. We do for the January 5th meeting. Yes. Uh, can we have a motion to approve the minutes from that meeting? Motion to approve. Thank you, Mark. Ben, do you second? I'll second that. Okay, Mark, you're in favor. Aye. And Ben? In favor. Okay, I am as well. Paul, are you? We'll, we'll take a three. <laughs> It carries. Uh, now on to the first item, which is the Nantucket Historic Association at Four Whalers Lane, relocating the projecting sign from the Macy Warehouse. There's some Tina, background noise. I am. Okay. Uh, do you want to introduce us to this application, Tina? I don't have it in front of me, but I. Um... I'm going to do it by memory. I'd like to okay. move my sign. Um, nothing changed on the sign from 12th Straight Wharf, which, which um, was the Macy Warehouse, um, over to Four Whalers Lane. Um, position it in the same way, projecting out um, either, looks like next to the door, using the same bracket, same sign. Just move it from 12th Straight Wharf to Four Whalers Lane. Okay. Uh does uh, Mark, do you have any comments? Mark, you're on mute. Uh, no concerns, I don't believe. Okay. Uh, ben, do you have any comments? Is, is that the old attorney's office? Yeah, it's Bondale and Hunter. Okay. Um, no, I have no concerns. Um, one uh, minute. Uh, okay, I'm going to uh, fade back. Okay, good. Okay. Sorry. Right. 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 Oh, someone's. Someone Paul signed on twice. He needs to turn off one of his. Okay. Okay. Hey, I'm muted. I'm muted. I'm muted. I'm muted. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Oh, the love of Zoom, uh, huh? Uh, <laughs> oh, someone's. Someone has to mute. How's that? How's <laughs> that? Oh, maybe it's not you. <laughs> Well, let's see. Do we have any comments, Paul? Do you have any comments? No, uh, no comments. All right. Do we have a motion for approval? So moved. A second? Second. All right. We'll take a vote. Ben, are you in favor? I'm in favor. I'm in favor. Mark? I'm in favor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. And Paul? Yes. Okay, I am as well. Tina, thank you. That, thank uh, you. Sign is recommended oh, it, for approval. Thank you. Yes. All right, thanks, Tina. Do you, does that mean uh, you want me to hang up? <laughs> yes, yeah, you, thank right, you. You can stay on. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, have a good day, public. everybody. <laughs> All right. Okay, see ya. bye. Thank um, you, guys. Bye bye. Next, we have uh, bye, Tina. Uh, 5 South Water Street. Uh, we have a projecting sign. Is Alexa on the line? Yes. Hi, I'm Alexa. Hi, Alexa. I'm feeding a um, baby. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Um, so we are new business to the island, um, LexRx. I'm a nurse practitioner, and we have two locations in Boston and bringing one to island, um, and we'll have a year-round residence on island in a couple weeks as well. Um, so this is the proposed sign. Um, I am here on behalf of the owners of the property as well. Um, there, the current sign position is that projection that's over the utility box, which kind of an interesting location, which is why we're proposing um, with the support of the owners of the property, the new location there. Um, 
was a little surprised it was actually initially approved over the utilities, but um, that is the proposed projecting sign, 24 inches by 24 inches, um, kind of exactly where it's shown there in the picture. Um, it would be wood painted white and gray. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll start, Paul, do you have any comments? Uh, no. Mark? Um, I think a couple things. I, I don't see any kind of implied border in any way. Um, second, I don't know, I might have, maybe because Kevin isn't here, <laughs> Um, I have some some concerns. The logo was a little a little contemporary, um, and I don't know what my suggestion for that might be. Uh, whether it's reduced some, um, but it's it's not certainly not in the Nantucket traditional sense. Um, location there's a good chance it was located where it was because, as you can see in this photo. The left side door, when open, would actually hit the sign. Um, and it, they may have pulled it. You can see there's a hook on the door to hold those in the open position. There's a hook actually on the wall, excuse me, the other, yeah, on the right of that window. So they may have located it there. That's really up to them. It's in an appropriate location where proposed, but they may find actually functionally it should be further left as to clear the door leaves because they're outswing. But that's really not really much of a concern. Um, but I do have maybe some reservations over the, the graphics. Colors, I guess I'm okay with, but lack of a border and the Lex RX is a little, a little bold. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay, Ben, do you have any comments? I mean, I can. I, I think I know where Mark's coming from with the logo, but the muted colors and the kind of small scale of this thing, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I guess I think the border of some type of bevel or something on the edge of the of the frame or the, the sign would be good. And I don't know if someone could remind me: Do we typically like the word Nantucket written on these signs, or is that just like isn't it kind of redundant? Um, we're all here, right? Um, yeah, I think that it's it. I can't remember. We've made or, that or we don't like it other locations like Palm Beach and Napa right. Valley or whatever. I can't remember. Right. I, I, yeah, we've definitely asked for those to be removed. I think the Nantucket, like you say, it's sort of redundant, mm -hmm. but okay. um, and we also find, uh, Alexa, for your sake, it yeah. may encourage somebody to borrow your sign uh, and hang it in their dorm room, for example, but um, that's just a... <laughs> <laughs> just an aside for your own consideration. Um, <laughs> the, I, I think that the, what Mark's hitting on with the logo uh, is that where there's contemporary logos uh, that don't comply and stop and shop and FedEx, and there's been a lot of examples um, of you know very nationally known logos getting modified for Nantucket standards. Um, it does require that a logo that is non- uh, non-complying only represent 15% of the sign and you're that obviously represents more than 15% of that sign um, sure. but if you reduced it to be 15% it would you know barely be legible I think so yeah. is there I'm just um, just I sort mean, of stating the facts on that um, it yeah. is our trademarked logo um, we could explore other avenues with our team. Um, I guess the other, I don't know if it would make any sense to, so that logo is obviously with the background showing through. We do have one that's not in a circle. So just the LexRx itself, um, which would be like the one on my hat. Um, if that appears less bold, um, we are certainly open to exploring whatever would satisfy um, majority you know if i could mention one thing i mean i think the circle with the lettering in the middle isn't screaming you know branded logo to me too strongly um i mean i think if the lettering was just done in simple block lettering um without the little kind of rounded is it rounded i can't 
team in town. I don't know. I'm 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 not that hung up on the the logo. Yeah. It acting as a logo, it's sort of it's not as logo ish as I've seen a lot of other things. I, I don't know. Right. Block letters are allowed. So that's that's a consideration. Um, Paul, you had no concerns. Do you have any comments regarding the? Yeah, I, I have two comments now. One is maybe a compromise. <clears throat> Pardon me, would be to reduce the size of the circle in the in the letters uh, to somewhere in between, you know, somewhere between what it is now and and 15, which would be too small. And the other thought is uh, just a comment is we I see there's stickers in the window that say the same thing just be sure that when the sign goes up they have to be they have to go away right so window window signage is a separate application like so that would have to be applied for and has certain restrictions so yeah I had read through um, um, the handbook about the signage in the window yeah. the 15 percent rule um, so we could Personally, I think that these are block letters. So, Mark, I understand your concern. I'm, I'm thinking that it's a smaller sign, so it's, you know, I wouldn't want to see the logo get too small um, personally. But I think a really important point is that if those doors are going to remain open during the summer, that sign would be blocked. So you may want to consider moving it closer to the, like the other side of the window, closer to the corner, just for that reason. Mm -hmm. um, higher up, you know, is is fine with me. So. Uh, does anybody want to make a motion that we can that we can vote on here? I would make an, a motion to approve with a beveled edge on the uh, sign. Okay. Second. Okay. Uh, well, Mark, how do you vote? Um, sure. Okay, we'll have one one sure. Then <laughs> in favor of my motion. Okay, and Paul. Yes. Okay, uh, and I'll vote. Uh, I'll vote yes as well. So, um, so is I think it then the only positive <laughs> one sure. Yeah. So yeah. Three, <laughs> that's the sure with the question. <laughs> Three and a half. That's a new one. That's, and then uh, I think it's safe to say that if the sign were to be relocated closer to the corner on the other side of the window, would we all be in favor of that as a uh, an option? Yes. Yes. Does anybody have a yes? Anything to say about that, just so that the applicant can go away with that knowledge? Yeah. I, yeah. That's, that's fine. okay. Mark. Yes. you have um, preference on the bevel edge color? Term consistent Good. with the gray? Uh, frankly, I like it when it stands out. Um, does anybody have any preference on how to treat the bevel edge? Yeah, well, if there's white, it'd look great. I, mean, I, think I think white, yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. So it really stands out as a border. So, yeah, Alex, if you could make a white, white painted border on that, that would be great. Okay. All right, I think we've lost some of our team here, but you have approval with that, uh, with that uh, border being added. Great, thank you so much. Does okay. it, do I submit any additional renderings or? Uh, Kathy, I think we can just make a note in the file, correct? Yes, we'll just make a note on the okay. application for you. Okay. Great. Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It, it, Good luck okay. with the business. Thanks. I'm sorry? Yeah. Okay, if I leave the meeting or do you want me to stay yes. until the end? Okay. <laughs> no, you're good. Thank you so you're much. good. Thank you. All right. And our last application is uh, 18B Federal Street, relocating a projecting sign. Is Susan on the line? Yes. Okay, Susan, introduce us to this application. Hi, uh, I'm Susan Fairgreave. My store is Act 4170, moving from 1A Old North Wharf to 18B Federal Street. Um, similar um, protrusion from the store. You'll see in that, in that photo, it's a two-sided sign. Um, 
obviously hung there on the front of the building over to the side, moving to 18B Federal Street. Um, it will protrude on a bracket above the front door as shown there. <laughs> okay. Um, ben, do you have any comments? Looks great. Okay, Mark? Yeah, I have no concerns. I think she always did a great job with merchandising the old spot. I'm sure this will look great as well. Thank you. Great. And Paul? Fine. I'm okay. Okay. Uh, do we have a motion for approval? Motion to approve. Second. And a second. Thank you. Uh, ben, are you in favor? I'm in favor. Mark? Aye. Paul? Sure. And I am as well. <laughs> All right. Three <laughs> eyes and one sure. Thank you, Susan. Thank you all. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. All right. Bye. -bye. Okay. Does that conclude our business for the day? <clears throat> well, I wanted oh. to, um, to discuss something quickly with you all. Thank you. <clears throat> this is a, I didn't send this out yet. But Paul had sent it to me, and it's parking the car bigger. I, I think I sent it out too. Well, you might have. Yeah. I'm getting, yeah, I'm, I'm getting hit from all angles. <laughs> 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 In a good way, though, I guess. Excuse me on my toes. Um, this might be part of a bigger conversation. Let me see if I can pull up the, which I actually did. Uh, let's see if I can get back in here. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I can't, it won't let me open it up. We have a new email. They upgraded our email, so I can't open up the emails during this. Oh, good grief. So I sent you all an email a few months ago about maybe getting together with the, with the Builders Association, discussing their signs. So before I send this person out one, I haven't actually addressed any of these since pre-pandemic. So I didn't know if you wanted to maybe have a meeting with the Builders Association or I can reach out to Leslie and see where they stand, if they've discussed it. And then I can kind of go in all attack mode and send out a bunch of courtesy notices. I think that's a good idea. I think that we should start with the Builders Association, maybe let them send out a general notice to everybody ahead of time so that it's, you know, uh, foreshadowed, if you will, that these notices are going out. Right, right. I mean, can, are we, it, it are we providing, are we providing them with some direction? Because we, we've had these discussions for years about their signs and what we're seeing on the screen right now, just so it's clear, I'm, I'm certainly not in support of, I'm finding these are getting bigger. And uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's probably the best way to describe it, getting larger and more, more prominent. Um, I, th I think we've, we've agreed that you can identify the construction site. Um, there are sites where the homes aren't even visible from the street. And so sometimes the builder will put a marker out. I think we've been okay with that, with a small placard, maybe. Um, but I know like uh, daily construction puts a white one out, you know, that looks like a fence like a fence section with their sign on it. Um, that's popped up around the island. We've seen obviously this one. Um, Janie Brothers is a one that's another kind of a large one we've seen around the island. So um, I know that I've seen one on Neil Point recently for, uh, 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 his name escapes me at the moment, but another builder. Millbrook. Um, Millbrook, yeah, um, builder. So, um, I think if we're going to, I, so I'm supportive of contacting the Nantucket Builders Association, but I think we have to provide some clarity as to what is acceptable, if anything's acceptable at all. Isn't there some, uh, some, isn't this addressed in the guidelines right now? I thought it was too. It is. Yeah, well, Let me see if I can. I think there was even a picture of Richard Green sign. Yes, there is. I can pull it up here. 
Sorry, guys. Yeah, I think the we'll see what it says, but I believe it says it has to be attached to a struck the building, not freestanding, and that's where the problem has come up. Our fence that these are at the end of driveways instead of attached to buildings. This this particular one on the screen is about a thousand feet back to the house. Right. And the question is, if he took that same sign, for example, and he put it on that post right below the number 154, let's say, would we have, you know, issue? would that be acceptable? Yeah. You mean the little sign that says Tommy Olo? Yes, yeah, that's what not, I'm thinking. Not the big okay. <laughs> no, 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 just wondering if we tell people there has to be a size restriction, which I think might be outlined yeah. there if Kathy finds it. Um. I might have it right here. I've got it. I just. Anyone? Not as quick on this as most. Okay, sign book. You all see it? Yeah. I don't know what page it's on. Let me see. Construction. Construction. Construction site signs. Page five. That's four. There we go. There it is. There it is. Okay, so one square foot. <coughs> to attach to a structure. And not yeah, the structure of the building. Not freestanding. Yeah, and not be freestanding. Only That's not even a, so not even to a fence. Right. <laughs> Well, we may be able to be a little more lenient on that, but I mean, wait a minute, we can put the architect's name up. Totally missed that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Damn. <laughs> Says it right there. Name of the architect, engineer, landscape architect, or contractor. I think I've seen. I think I've seen that somewhere. Wow. Well, only one per lot, Mark. You're gonna have to duke it out with the builder. I just gotta get there first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, there there oh, is yeah. some argument. There is some argument in the case of Tommy Olo in this particular job uh, is that when, when either deliveries or other vendors are coming to the site, that they, they, yeah, you know, they can't see it. Know, I, they can't see it from the road. I hear you, Paul. I think my argument there is the 154, which is visible from the street. You identify That's it true. by street address like we do any home on the island. You know. All right. I stand corrected. Okay. I mean... But if we were to, maybe we can put this on to a, an agenda, a future agenda to modify that so that it says something along the lines of, uh, if the building isn't visible from the, if a sign attached to the, the building wouldn't be visible from the street, then a single post not to exceed such height, not to exceed one square foot for the sign itself, something like that. What about maybe location, that's good. Chris? As it respect with respect uh, to that, because obviously a new lot, you don't even have a building or a structure to attach it yeah. to. So they need a post to attach it to. Is it is it then in close proximity to the building? Is it on the is it on the drive entrance? Because then you're back to this one thousand yeah. foot distance. Like the the construction site's deep, but now we've allowed a sign yeah. on the, a sign on the street. Yeah, I mean, I'm not in love with it, but one square foot's pretty small. Like, I believe that's bigger than one square foot that we're seeing, even the Tamayolo. Yeah, I agree. It so, um, you know, it's possible that we could allow something down, but, you know, at the end of the driveway for, like you say, for deliveries and, and just general recognition of who to contact if there's an issue. Um, and of course, it's I think what he's, there's no doubt. But. I think I think what you said, Chris, is fine. We, if we could write that up and agree to it. Okay. Um, maybe we'll write that up for the next agenda, Kathy, as a, something we could vote on and then send it out to the Builders okay, Association so, after that. Yeah. So who is okay. writing that? I'll, I'll send you an email. Okay. Good. In the meanwhile, should we uh, contact uh, Tommy Olo about this so. one or the the owner? It's pretty. Br I think so. Uh, brazen, yeah. So let's do that. 
yeah, other people have gotten notices for things like this, so he, he certainly can. Okay. All right. Okay. Any other business? Nothing. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Anybody? All right. Anybody second it? Second. Please. All right. Ben? In favor. Mark? Aye. Paul? Aye. And I. Thank you all. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. You guys. That's right. what I was going to say. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.